Hi guys, happy new year. I can't believe it's 2022. That sounds so surreal to say out loud. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Noemi and in today's video, we're gonna do the 30 day minimalism challenge. If you've never heard of the 30 day minimalism challenge, Basically what you do is you declutter the items that you own over the course of 30 days. Now you get rid of the number of items that correspond with the number of the day. So for example, on day one, you're gonna get rid of one item. On day two, two items, and on day three, three items. I actually did this challenge last year in July. I recorded it with you guys, and you guys liked it so much so that I decided that I wanted to go ahead and do it again with you guys. I roughly do this challenge every six months. I've been doing it for years, but last year was the first time that I recorded it with you guys, and I'm excited to do it again this year. Now, what I did last year was I recorded a week at a time, so I'm going to go ahead and do the first seven days in today's video, and in the videos that follow, it'll be the rest of me doing the challenge. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, so for day one, I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this canvas that you see right here. I originally got it to put in my home office, but I didn't like the way that it looked in my office, and so I kind of just threw it out here in my back patio, but it really doesn't go with anything here in my back patio, which I'm going to show you in a second. But there was actually already kind of like a nail already in the wall, and so I just kind of put this on top and just called it a day. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. It doesn't really add to the room and it doesn't go with the color scheme in the room. And um, yeah, I think I'm ready to part with it. So this is the item that I'm gonna get rid of for day one. All right guys, so this is again the canvas and what my back patio looks like. So I've got some hanging plants, a hammock, patio furniture with teal pillows, and then a TV and if you actually look at the curtains that I have hanging inside, they're teal. So basically teal is the color scheme that I've got going on and just, you know, the colors that you see here, the copper, the rust, and the pink hues just don't go. So I'm going to go ahead and part with this canvas. Hi guys, welcome to day two of the minimalism challenge. I'm standing here in the middle of my office because I wanted to show you these two picture frames that I have here hanging in the back. I'm actually going to part with these two picture frames for day two. The reason why I'm parting with them is because they have that same pink hue color like I showed you in the canvas from day one. That was actually the accent color that I had here in my office and I'm actually going to change the color scheme in my office so the pink is no longer going to go. So with that said, those are the two items I'm going to get rid of for day two. Hi guys, welcome to day three of the minimalism challenge. It's kind of an awkward uh, angle to film at. But I'm standing here in my living room and I wanted to show you these three picture frames that I have. I had them hanging on this wall above my sofa and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and part with these three picture frames for day three. I had the big one in the middle and um, these two, they're actually the same design. I had them on either side of the big one. And so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and part ways with them. I just kind of got bored of the design. I kind of tend to get bored of decor fairly easily. So, um, so yeah, so I'm going to get rid of these three picture frames for day three. All right guys, so welcome to day four of the minimalism challenge. Sorry for the angle of the camera and for the lighting here in the hallway, but I just went through the linen closet here in my hallway and I found four items that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of for day four. I'm gonna get rid of two washcloths and two towels. Now I know that my linen closet looks bare right now, but I do have some towels in the wash and all of my towels kind of follow that same color scheme of white and gray, which is the color scheme that I have in all of my bedrooms and bathrooms here in my home. So that's kind of also why I'm getting rid of these four. Um, the black and the red washcloths don't go and neither do the pink towels. And I've also have had these for quite some time. I remember having them when I once lived in an apartment, so it's definitely time to get rid of them. So these are the four items I'm gonna get rid of for day four. Hi guys, welcome to day five and day six of the minimalism challenge. So I've decided to combine both day five and day six together because I found enough items to declutter going through all of my Christmas decor. So I'm actually gonna start over here. I'm going to get rid of this white clear container because it's big and bulky. It used to hold all of my Christmas decor, but I actually just bought this container that you see here on Amazon this year. I like this a lot better because it's more versatile. I'm able to slide it underneath my bed or I can stand it upright in my closet if I wanted to. So all my Christmas decor fits in here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this clear white container. Along with it, I'm going to get rid of this wreath. Um, it's just a plain wreath. I've never decorated it. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this and buy a new one next year. Along with it, I'm going to get rid of this reef holder just because it's not very sturdy and I'll get a new one next year. 
I'm also going to get rid of these two nutcrackers. They're very cute, but they're small. And not only that, but um, the hairs that they have are turning yellow. They're currently white, but they're not the bright white that they used to be. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two nutcrackers as well. And next year I'll get some new ones. So those are the five items I'm going to get rid of for day five. So the container, the reef, the reef holder, and the two nutcrackers. For day six, I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this gold bell. I don't know where I got it. I've never used it. Gold is not in my color scheme for Christmas, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this bow. Along with it, I have, I don't know if you can see it here, but I have three ornaments here that are like snowflakes and they're full of glitter. I don't know where I got these ornaments from. One of them's actually broken, but they don't go with my color scheme either, so I'm going to get rid of these three ornaments. Along with that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this wrapping paper. So this wrapping paper says wishing you a wonderful Christmas, it's specifically for Christmas. And I did something different this year for Christmas. Um, I watched a YouTube video not too long ago of a minimalist who shared items that they no longer buy. And one of the items they no longer buy is specific wrapping paper for occasions. They buy plain wrapping paper that they can use year round. And so I actually thought that was a great idea and that's what I did this year. So I bought a bunch of brown wrapping paper with really cool designs on them and that's what I used for Christmas this year. I used you know, one design for each family member and wrapped all their gifts in that specific paper and it was great. So I think that's what I'm going to do going forward. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that wrapping paper. And then if you guys have been following me for a while, you would have known that I had a dog a while back, a German Shepherd, her name was Zena. This was actually her um, Santa hat. However, it's been a couple years now and I don't foresee myself getting another dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and part ways with the Santa hat. So those are the six items I'm gonna get rid of for day six. The Santa hat, the wrapping paper, the gold bell, and the three um, ornaments. So those are all the items I'm gonna get rid of for day five and day six. All right guys, so welcome to day seven of the minimalism challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and go through my purses that I have up here on the top shelf of my closet. Inside of my purses, I also have other purses and some clutches. So let's see what we can find. Hi guys, welcome to day seven of the minimalism challenge. So I just went through all of my handbags and purses and totes that I had on the top shelf in my closet and I found seven that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of for day seven of the minimalism challenge. So I'm gonna start with this item here. This is a duffel bag that I used to use and I actually just recently bought some new luggage so I no longer need this. Um, this was just very heavy. I could either hold it by the handle in the middle or there was a shoulder strap. And just now I actually have a rolling luggage and a backpack that matches, so I no longer need this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. This was a bag that I got as part of like a goodie bag from an event that I went to. It's a really big beach bag. Um, I've never used it. I've had it for a couple years now thinking that I would at some point, but I haven't. So I'm gonna go ahead and part ways with this. And then this is a purse that I got from a FabFitFun subscription that I used to have. Um, I've used it and it's great. It's like vegan leather, um, really great brand, but I just don't like how boxy it looks on me. Like personally, I'm very petite and I just think the purse looks very big on me. And then also I don't like that um, basically it's open. Um, I prefer, you know, something that closes so that all the things that I have inside, you know, aren't exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And then this is also another bag that I got from a FabFitFun subscription. It's a cute backpack, but I'm not a fan of backpacks like this. Just I don't like the way the straps sit on me. Also, it's white, like the bottom is white, so I'm always worried about getting it dirty. So I never really gravitate to this bag when I go to grab a purse or a bag to carry out. So um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and part ways with this. And then I found this cute little... Um, I guess like a pocket change little purse. Um, it's actually from Victoria's Secret, so I don't know if I bought something and this was inside or you know, a part of what I bought, but I never used it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And then I also have this Michael Kors um, wallet, which I don't know if you could tell, but this like name plate here is very old and scratched, and even the sides here are really dirty. 
Um, maybe you can tell here more so. So I'm gonna go ahead and part ways with this wallet. And then I got this loft clutch, which is really cute. It's red, has like a neat little design on the inside with a pocket. It's a cute red clutch that I've never used and I've held on to it for a couple years now. So I'm also gonna part ways with this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items for me to get rid of for day seven. All right guys, so I'm here in my spare bedroom and I wanted to go ahead and show you all of the items that I got rid of for week one of the minimalism challenge. All right guys, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload videos every Sunday and Thursday. Until next time, bye guys.